Thanks for joining us again. We're in Oxfordshire this time, um, actually at a place called Kirtlington Quarry. Um, hopefully you can see all that behind me here. This is just off from the Oxford Canal. It's an old quarry, I think it closed about 50 or 60 odd years ago or something like that. I'll have to look that up and put the details in the, in the comments. But um, yeah, looks an interesting place. So we're gonna head down there somewhere and cook something on the Kelly Kettle. Let's get going. This looks like a popular spot for um, campfires. You can see why. It's um, in the corner of the quarry. Good view of the quarry from all around here. So I think this is where I'll cook today. All right, so I've got myself a nice little plywood, pile of firewood there, ready to go. Uh, today we're gonna have a go at cooking a pizza on the Kelly Kettle. So let's prep up the ingredients. So on the pizza today, I'm going to put some olives, a little bit of chorizo, some anchovies, some mozzarella, and I use red pesto instead of um, a tomato sauce on the base, just simply because I had a bit left over. I thought it'd um, be nice. And for the pizza baits, I've just got a packet mix, just add water. Right, need to chop this lot up.
so this pizza base says it serves two. So I'm gonna have a go at using half the um, half the ingredients. Let's have a look. What do I need? 100 ml of water, so I'm gonna use 50 ml of water. Right, luckily these Kelly Kettle cups come with measurements on the side. So now I'm gonna use just the right amount here. I guess that, but I can always add more water or more mixture, depending on how this turns out. Yes, I didn't wash my pot very well last time, but I can just leave that in my hands. It's just a matter of just stretching it out, activating that gluten in there. Just do that for about five minutes. All right, so that's the dough needed. It's nice, nice and elastic now. It does say that I meant to leave this to prove for 10 minutes in a warm, warm place. Um, Obviously outside and it's coming on for winter, so it's not going to happen here, but I'll leave it anyway while I get the fire lit. Got a nice little fire going. Um, just going to prep up the pizza now. As I thought, that's not risen at all. It does look like there's quite a lot there, so I'm going to split that in half and make myself two pizzas. Right, 
So like I said earlier, I'm not actually gonna bother with a, a regular pizza base. I'm just gonna use a little bit of red pesto. These ingredients actually go quite a long way. I think I should open a pizza shop. <laughs> right, let's get this on the Kelly kettle. Right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my second Kelly kettle plate, pop that on top, a couple of bulldog clips. and then I'm going to put the fire base on top to cook the rest of it. I took the lid off and had a little look. Um, I didn't have it on there that long, but just I just wanted to see how the base was doing. I think it just needs a little bit more on top of the stove. Um, also notice that it's, it's kind of sweating in there. So when I put the lid back on, I'm gonna have the, the plate slightly offset, just to make it bent, just to give a, a steam bend. All right, so I've got the firewall back on top. As you can see, I've just got a little steam vent there. Hopefully that won't let too much heat out. If you're enjoying this video, I'd, I'd be really grateful if you could leave us a like or a comment. Or if you're not subscribed already, it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel, and catch up with my other videos and, and Make sure you don't miss out on any future ones. Right, it's been on there a reasonable amount of time now, so I think I'll um, take this off and have a look. See how it's doing. So that's done.
probably should have greased the pan first. base and it's kind of burnt on yeah okay let's, let's cut this up let's see what it turned out like well, it's not turned out as crispy as I expected so a little bit overdone on the back I think the dough might be a little bit underdone but Let's give it a go, see what happens. It's good. Yeah, that's nice, I'm pleased with that. Maybe we could have done with a little bit more cooking, but it's really tasty. Okay. Before I sign off, I just want to thank one of my subscribers, Kenneth. I actually um, gave him the idea. Wanted to see a pizza cooked on the kettle, so um, thanks, Kenneth. <laughs>